Hey y'all, it's Jen, and today I have an original booktube tag for you. It is the Girl Scout Law book tag, and March is the birthday for Girl Scouts. Juliette Lowe founded Girl Scouts on March 12th in 1912, and March is also Women's History Month. I thought this would be a great time to do this book tag. The Girl Scout Law is the qualities that we want the girls in Girl Scouts to strive to achieve and to embody. So you don't have to be a Girl Scout to do this tag and you don't even have to be a girl to do this tag. This tag is all about positive qualities of of girls that are found in books that we are reading. So with that said, let's get started. Number one, honest and fair. For these qualities, I chose Gaya Stone from the Bookmark Trilogy. This one was a little bit of a stretch, but in the end of this series, the way this series wraps up, she is ultimately trying to find a way to make the rules and the society that she lives in fair to everybody involved. The men are not treated equally. They are kind of really treated as second class citizens. This is a very much a matriarch society and she doesn't find that to be very fair. Number two is friendly and helpful. For this I chose Cress from the Lunar, Lunar Chronicles. Cress is always trying to help somebody out. You know, she starts out helping the Lunars, gathering information for the people on Earth. Later on, wants to help Thorn. She's infatuated by him and his story, and she wants to help him and also help Cinder survive and, and defeat the Lunar Queen. And Cress is always friendly. She is has that hyper-bubbly personality. You can't help but like Cress. Three, considerate and caring. For these qualities I chose Claire Danvers from the Morganville Vampire series. Claire is a young girl who gets thrown into this small town who finds out that it is ultimately ran by vampires. She's really considerate and caring of their needs and their their quirks and kind of the rules of the town that she lives in but at the same time she's also very considerate of the vampires she really learns to care about them deeply the leader of the town is looked at as a cold heartless person vampire and she really comes to really like her on a personal level as well. And then she also is apprenticing for Merlin, who even the vampires have kind of written off as a crazy kook and just wants nothing to do with him, thinks he should be locked up because he's a danger to everybody. But Claire really gets an attachment to him. She is considerate of his needs. She's very caring. She wants to make sure he is okay and um, really helps him in his work and to make sure that he doesn't hurt anybody or himself. Number four, courageous and strong. For this category, I picked Katniss Everdeen from the Hunger Games trilogy. You have to be courageous and you have to be strong to go into the Hunger Games and survive um, multiple times and not let it change who you are as a person detrimentally. Um, and I think that it, she is a great example of someone who is courageous and strong for these young girls that are reading that series. Number five, responsible for what I say and do. For this category, I picked Juliet from the Shatter Me series, and Juliet is always feels responsible. She's always very aware of where she is, her actions, and she takes responsibility even for, accident, for accidents. 
Um, touching her can kill you, and she is very guilt-ridden by that. She has accidentally killed somebody, and um, any time that she does something like that, she always takes responsibility for it. Six, respect myself and others. For this, I chose June from the Legend series. June starts out as very much a product of her training and upbringing in her role as a military type role. She doesn't question orders. She doesn't question the reasons behind them until, and until she is given orders to kill a family that she does not believe has done anything wrong and from that point she really questions the her moral convictions to following these orders and ultimately she decides that she can't do it and she goes AWOL um, and becomes a fugitive herself. I think that that is a very strong lesson for girls to learn that we have to respect ourselves our ideas, our thoughts, our bodies, and not let anybody disrespect us in any of those ways, and we have to stay true to ourselves. Number seven, respect authority. I read a lot of sci-fi and a lot of dystopian books, so finding a book that I felt that a female character really had a good respect for authority was difficult because they're all about rebellion and they're all about um, overthrowing the government and those themes. So ultimately for Respect Authority, I chose Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series. Hermione is always really respectful of her teachers, of the rules of the wizarding world, of the rules of the muggle world. Um, all of the lessons that she learns from the books, she always tries to make sure that the guidelines and the rules are followed. However, there are times that she questions those uh, people in authority and their judgments and their reasons for the laws. And in those cases, she does defy the rules and the the authority figures but she always does it in a respectful manner and she always has a good thought process and good reasons for doing so she never does it disrespectfully and she never does it just because she thinks the rules are stupid and I think that's important for our young girls to learn as well that it is okay to disagree and it is okay to think that rules need to be changed and it's okay to go about the proper channels to change the rules um, but you have to do those in a respectful way number eight is use resources wisely and for this one I chose Deuce from the Razorland series Deuce is a girl who it grows up in an underground subway society after the world is destroyed they're kind of some of the few survivors. Deuce learns at a young age that resources are valuable, whether it's food or clothing or whatever the case may be. And so she's always conscious of making sure that nothing is wasted. And eventually she goes to the above ground world and even there she still is very conscious of the way that the resources are used. She doesn't take what she doesn't need. She doesn't use what she doesn't need. She doesn't overindulge. Number nine, make the world a better place. For this one, I chose Agnes from the School of Good and Evil. Agnes just wants to make things better for her, her town. She wants to make things better for herself and for, for Sophie. And eventually, she wants to make things better for the fairy tale children that at the school for good and evil I think she is a great example of a person who tries to make the world a better place she's not selfish she doesn't want things to be better just for her she ultimately looks at everybody else she doesn't want her town to have to give up two of its kids every four years 
for these storybooks and she doesn't want Sophie to suffer and she just wants to go home and she wants her town to be better and to be safe. And, and finally, number 10, be a sister to every Girl Scout. For this category, I chose Winter from the Lunar Chronicles. Um, Winter is a person who is kind to everybody. She doesn't think she is better than anybody just because she's a princess and she treats everybody equally whether you are one of the high society people that live inside of the section I forget what it's called um, but where all the elites members of the society are or whether you're someone who lives in one of the other sectors who are mining or collecting timber whatever she treats everybody the same. She is kind to everybody even though people have not been kind to her. And I think that is really an important quality and really kind of embodies all of these different characteristics that we try to teach our girls and Girl Scouts. I'm not going to tag anybody specifically so if you are watching this video and you have a YouTube channel you are tagged please do this one. Please let me know what you think of the books that I have mentioned and the girls and their characteristics. And as always, be sure to like this video, share it um, so we can get more people to do this tag and promote positive qualities in young women. As always, if you want to hear more from me and be notified, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, bye!